in this program of work is that there's been a growing evidence base of players who uh, have been hit in the face or the eye socket area, um, some of whom have sustained some pretty serious career threatening injuries. Um, there is a genuine a general belief that um, professional players uh, believe that they are safe when wearing their helmets um, and that on those occasions where a ball has, particularly where a ball has been seen to pass between the helmet um, grill and the peak, um, that that is something that there is scope for improvement. So this particular aspect of the test has been brought in to, to address that shortcoming um, or certainly to allow manufacturers to be certified to say that they are safe in those circumstances. I mean, all helmets are good. They, they, they improve safety. Um, they've been designed carefully by people with a great deal more experience of this than, than, than ourselves. Um, but from the testing that we've done, we, we've noticed that the, I mean, the reason that the, the revision to the test standard is being called for is that there is, a, is an opportunity for the ball to pass between the peak and the grill. And so we're able to observe that with some of the current designs and we're also able to observe um, grill deformations that, that will potentially result in a, in a contact with the face and so for a direct ball impact on the grill we're observing that the, either the grill will deform onto the face permanently or, or there will be some flexing occurring uh, the grill will deform onto the face of that, of that way so those are the kinds of things that we observe but I mean at the moment or to now, grills have not been put under this degree of scrutiny before.